Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. Uh, we could get up to about 60 today, 55 to 60. We start with rain, then we get dry, then uh, tonight more rain heavy on the overnight. Could be windy into Friday early afternoon, looks like, hopefully. Wow, early afternoon. Oh, boy. Yeah. And then uh, we'll set up the weekend for you tomorrow, a little All too right. early. It better be good, so see what you could do between now I'll, and then. I'll do what I can, Thank you know. You. Thank you. I'm Father. just one man. Yeah. Father Weather. Yeah, <laughs> I got Father of the Year, Father Weather. Yes, I got it. Your day today. Yes, thank you, thank you very much, uh, Candy. We will get to National Days here shortly, but I want to give special National Day attention. It is National Pet Day today. Oh, we all love our pets, don't we? Or at least the majority of us do. The majority of us do. How you could, um, you know, hurt or, or not love your pet is beyond me. I, I don't even comprehend that. I, I, yeah. It's, yes. Um, so it is Happy National uh, Pet Day today. Uh, what's the strangest pet you've ever had besides, like, you know, a regular dog or cat? Well, it, I had a guinea pig. Her name was Natasha. Um, mm -hmm. But that's not that odd. Uh, Evan is the one in our family who had has had a lot of interesting little creatures. Little lizard, we had a turtle, we had a beta fish that came from Thailand. I had to go to the post office to get it. Wait, 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 um, wait, wait. You can't just throw that out there. You So you didn't go to some fish store to get this uh, beta no. fish. You ordered no. it Evan, from overseas. For his eighth grade graduation, wanted to breed betas, so we had to buy all this stuff to do that. And one of the things we bought at the time was a $50 female beta who, you know, would have babies. And she came from Thailand, and it was a whole lot too. All right. I don't know how there's any beta fish on this earth after seeing what they have to go through to have babies. It's quite remarkable. All right, so did you get your money's worth from this fish? Well, yeah, she had babies. Um, huh. Pretty much all got eaten, oh. uh, but it was unbelievable. It was quite a year of beta. Let's just put it that way. Does she show up pregnant? How does this no. happen? No. And then we had the male, and you have to separate them, but you have to put them in the same tank, but where they can't see, you know, get to each other, but they can see each other, so they can adapt to one another, and then you let them go. And it takes numerous times. You think the female is dying because the male is literally strangling her from top to bottom. It's a <laughs> whole. I'm telling you, I've never seen anything like it. So that's my weird right. thing. I, if we weren't on the air right now, I'd go directly to YouTube to really check this You've out. You've got to see it. I suggest you do. It's unbelievable. And, yeah, the post office called and said, um, we have a live package here from you from Thailand. We don't want to send that out <laughs> in regular delivery. Could you pick it up? Amazing. Wow. Oh, that's interesting. I also had fish but didn't really take care of them. Um, we, I had two fish. And I called them Crockett and Tubbs. Mm -hmm. uh, um, big fan of Miami Vice candy, as you <laughs> can tell. I wasn't going to make fun of you. Um, yes, le legitimately had two fish with those names. But, you know, I don't know. We didn't really clean the tank well. And by the way, I don't know if the original Crockett and Tubbs were the Crockett and Tubbs, uh, you know, six months later. I think, I don't know if my parents replaced them or I have no idea. But... They, they got, I don't know, the tank was not cleaned right, or they got sick and they died. And it oh, was not... that's a sad story. Yeah, it was very sad. Now, of course, we've had many dogs now, yes. as you know, and uh, you as well have had some animals and dogs. And uh, You ever have a cat? You had a cat, didn't yes, you? Yes, always had cats, yeah. too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Growing up, you did, yeah. I did um, cats and dogs and a, and a bird and all kinds of things. So they have some competition for uh, its nationwide pet insurance annual contest for the wackiest pet name in America. Now, they've already chosen the finalists, but the voting is going on. So here's some of them. In the dog category, um, some of the, uh, you know, some of the names that are in the, uh, the finals. Boots with the fur, 
is is one of the finalists in the dog category. Boots with the fur. Yeah, it's from a song. Um, oh. Lord Waddles is one of the finalists. <laughs> That's cute. Mr. Pizza Puff. Mm-hmm. Oh. Molly from Corporate is another huh. finalist. Yes. Molly from Corporate. Molly yep. from Corporate. Little Richard Simmons sweating to the oldies <laughs> is another finalist. Um, in the cat category, Balsamic Vin is a finalist. Oh, creative. The Itty Bitty Kitty Committee. <laughs> you can't say that every time you call your cat. I'm sorry. Meow Nays. What do you think of Meow Nays? That's something you'd come up with. Yeah, go ahead. Call your cat. Call Itty Bitty Kitty Committee. Go ahead. Itty Bitty Kitty Committee. Come here. Come on. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Um, one of my favorites, this has to win uh, in the cat category, Steph Purry. That's cute. I love that. Very that's easy cute. easy to say. Now, other pets are involved. There's a tortoise named Midsize Sedan, <laughs> a lizard named Frosted Mini Wheat. Um, a guinea pig named Cow Pig. Oh. And a pig named Snoop Hoggy Hog. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Uh, so they're they're doing uh, voting as we speak for All the right. uh, yeah Do the wackiest. Do you win a prize or it's just? Yeah, I don't know. They must they probably win the food for a year or something. I have no mm. idea. No clue. Uh, Candy, it's National Alcohol Screening Day uh, as well today where... Um, we uh, discuss the harmful effects of alcohol abuse that is today. Mm, good. Right. And the programs that could help you if you need help. Um, it's National Living Donor Day. This reminds me of your nail lady who gave her yes, kidney. to her son. That's correct. Yeah. Last month. Uh, anyone who has donated, we uh, today's your day. Thinking yes, about you. Yes, very much so. It's National Submarine Day today. Ever been in one? Uh, just that one, not like very far down, but the one in the Bahamas on the cruise where we did the excursion, remember? Oh. Um, and we went, we took an excursion where you go, you look at the fancy homes along the coast of uh, Nassau, Bahamas. You see Oprah's house and all these different houses. And then they take you out to the middle of the water where there's this submarine and you go down in it and you can see the fish in the water. Not only was the water dirty and I couldn't see really any fish, but it was so hot I almost passed out. Oh, because we did a glass bottom boat in the Bahamas, I think, as well. Or maybe it was Jamaica, I forget. But you could see a lot. It was clear and beautiful, but not submerged. Oh, okay. Um, it is National Cheese Fondue Day today. If you want to make it, I'll be there. Yes, yeah. please. Oh, my God. And give me a pot of cheese, hot cheese. I will sit there and dip anything in it. I Absolutely. Mean fruit, vegetables, bread. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. now I want it. Mm -hmm. uh, it is National Pet Day. We did a whole thing on yes. that, as you know. Um, it's Special National Pet. Yes, we have. You have your Tilly. I do. I have my uh, Lucy and Millie. Mm -hmm. Yes. It is National Barbershop Quartet Day today. Are there any left? Boy, there's got to be some that go around some, and perform. Somewhere, right? I think it's yep. almost a lost art. And finally, it is National 8-Track Tape Day today. Guilty. Oh, that should have been in the who's old category, because all you would have had to say, did you have 8-Track Tapes? Yes, I did. Okay, you're old. Not only do I have, still have, some of my old 8-Tracks. You still have some of them? Uh, yes, I, obviously. I don't have an 8-Track wow. player to play them on, um, nor do I think they would work but um i have eight tracks uh i think they are all village people eight tracks by the oh, way this is scary no this is great stuff so uh i have like four or five village people eight tracks uh I remember like their zeppelin do you remember track. you remember the movie you can't stop the music do you remember yes, that movie yes With the, i love that movie <laughs> okay i love you the know there's a lot to elijah that i'm now seeing the, you yes the, cons him. the construction worker, the whole thing, Candy. Oh, I was boy. A bit so then, so then, uh, my sisters and I, we had fake instruments. There was a video, I think it's gone, I don't know, but there was a video of me and my sisters 
uh, playing along to the Village People 8 tracks in our living room. Well, if you could please maybe find that. Highly yeah. entertaining. So there's a sad story. I'm afraid to even bring it up with Uh-oh. that. Because it'll probably, my, my, my father and my mom, would they, they would not be uh, happy. So... Uh, back in the day, my father took all the film that he was that he filmed on his recorder uh, to to get transferred to like um, whatever they transferred it to a different form so it was easier to have and store. And the place that had the film, I think, went up in flames. And oh my we goodness, lost... that's terrible! Yeah, we lost all the footage. And, oh wow! You know, I know. Wow. That's a uh, sad story. But I still have my Village People 8 tracks. Yep. That's mm. all that matters. You can't stop the music. Oh boy. Nobody We're really learning can. a lot about you. Oh, my God. I, 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 that, <laughs> as, much, as much as I loved Metallica, Rush, and all that, I was so into the Village People. So it was great. Okay. We I move on. I give you credit for admitting that out loud. I, they was, they were not. great. They were all great. Right. Um. There's a place in Nashville called Old Friends Senior Dog Sanctuary. Takes in senior dogs that have medical issues. It opened in 2012, completely funded by donations. Um, And um, uh, so senior year is your 12th year in school. So for their 12th anniversary this month, they threw the dogs a senior prom at this place. Oh, that's adorable. They called it the Geezer Gala. (laughs) And the the dogs dressed up and all these things. Oh, that's adorable. A guy in Maryland heard his local 7-Eleven sold two Powerball tickets worth a million dollars each. Turned out they both belonged to him. What? What? He bought two tickets with the same numbers by mistake. Oh, not a mistake anymore. Amazing. And uh, a retired science teacher in Rochester, New York, is in the news. After 100 of his former students showed up to watch the eclipse with him. I love this story. I wish it was my Mr. Druce, my science teacher back in the day. I loved him so. I think it's phenomenal. What a great story. Uh, By the way, I'll stop the story for a second. Side note. Somehow, some way, when I was in 7th or 8th grade, my parents let me go to a baseball game with two of my friends and our science teacher, Mr. Testa. Hmm. Was uh, Mr. Yeah. Testa testing? Uh, I don't know. Wh- I don't. What was he yeah. doing? It was Mr. All I, I. It's like core memory. Mr. Testa and three of us at a baseball game. I gotta see if my parents remember oh, this. I, uh, yeah, that's odd. Of I, 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 thinking back to it, but now you know. Anyway, uh, this this science teacher's name is Patrick Moriarty. Starting in 1978, he told his students he'd throw a big viewing party for the eclipse in 2024. Love this, that. 78, he started talking about this. He said they're all invited. He made good on the promise. He had glasses for everyone. He catered it. I, I mean, think this is it's a great story. I wish I would have been included in that. He would have been my teacher. I would have yep. loved it. Incredible. All right. We got to go, Candy. Thanks to gotta Ryan go. and Amanda. Our great producers. Uh, appreciate them. You have a great rest of your day, okay? You do as well. We'll gather for Friday. Friday tomorrow. Yes, uh, we have a ton of rain coming. It's going to be a little bit of rain now, then it stops, then tonight overnight. Looks like heavy rain clearing out tomorrow afternoon. Uh, Pre sale for Walker Hayes with the code FEST is 10 a.m. Ticketmaster.com. Uh, get ready for it. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.